My good morning. Welcome to a practiced life. Today, uh, something a little bit different. We're going to talk about pipe smoking and more generally about reverie. So normally I talk about meditation. I talk about um, recently a lot about practices around the discipline of concentration, around the practice of the mind, looking at the mind and kind of examining not the content of the thought, but the process of the thought, like watching uh, phenomena like a thought or a physical sensation, watching it uh, arise, watching it do its thing, you know, and then watching it disperse to whatever degree of mindfulness that I can maintain, either seated on the cushion in my uh, in my practice or post meditation as I'm at work or as I'm around and about, can I remind myself to reflect on this moment of experience and observe it, observe my reaction to it, observe my sense input, observe my uh, narrative, observe the, the thought and the, uh, uh, the, the discourse that is built around that phenomena that is my filter, that is my karma, that is my obscuration. Um, all of that is grist for the normal daily discourse. But I wanted to talk a little bit about um, a different way of interacting with those with those thoughts, which I'm calling reverie. And you could call it daydream. In the context of meditation, it's losing mindfulness in a way. You know, it's allowing awareness to be distracted or to follow a thought away from the object of concentration or to lose sight of the nature of the thought and to interact and dialogue with that thought and look uh, it's it's different and I thought I would start uh, because I enjoy a pipe and I was thinking about this I, I smoke a pipe infrequently maybe maybe once a week at, at the most on a Saturday afternoon and this is my pipe uh, and one of the joys of smoking a pipe is to sit and uh, feel the richness of thought and enjoy the engagement with the thought that uh, would would in the meditation context would be um, losing the Losing, losing, losing the focus. You know, there's a great pleasure in sitting down and um, lighting my pipe. I brought up the tobacco. I, I typically smoke this Presbyterian mixture, which is sort of a um, it's an English style with uh, what they would describe as a sort of Oriental blend of tobacco, a little bit of Latakia, and then these sort of um, sweet and sour oriental blends. It's a nice tobacco for just smoking all, all the time. Um, I like to smoke it with a cup of tea, maybe a cup of like chai tea. And uh, it takes about 20 minutes for me to smoke this bowl. It's not a very big bowl. And uh, I'll sit on my porch and smoke it. And my mind will wander to um, um, my youth. Uh, it will wander through um, old friends. It may wander through books I want to read, music I want to listen to, music I want to write, books I want to write. My mind uh, becomes like a, a tapestry of ideas and thoughts and sensations. And I jump into them and immerse myself in them. You know, one of the things I, I hear some people say about meditation is that it um, allows you to enjoy the moment more. And, you know, enjoyment isn't 
why I meditate. I meditate to understand how my mind works because the way my mind works is most likely the cause of all suffering in my in my life and I say most likely because I'm still checking this out you know I'm still working still practicing I'm uh, I'm an experienced novice at meditation and I'm an experienced novice at, at pipe smoking as well I probably have half a dozen pipes total and of those I have this one that I really enjoy it's a Peterson Church Warden with the fishtail I like it of course because there's absolutely no fire hazard when I'm smoking with my pipe. A lot of other pipes, even the ones that are just, you know, it, it's too dangerous with the match or the lighter word that I would ignite myself. Um, I used to smoke um, a much heavier blend when I would drink whiskey, and I, I don't drink whiskey. Um uh, as frequently or at all now as I used to. Um, but I would find that I would over smoke um, most blends to try and counteract the whiskey and the, and, you know, particularly after I'd had a few of them. Um, even this blend, if I was smoking this with a whiskey, it, I don't think it would stand up after my second whiskey. So I had uh, things that were almost purely Latakia, very heavy Latakia blend. Uh, so a pipe, pipe smoking may not teach me about the mechanics of my mind, but it allows the a reflection on the nature or the history, the story of 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 my uh, of my life. And um, there are lessons to be learned from from a pipe. Um, there's a technique to smoking a pipe that is different from smoking a cigarette. Um, and don't get me wrong, I love, love cigarettes. I love that buzz of a cigarette. When I was younger, um, I was a heavier smoker. I was a heavy cigarette smoker. And I used to love waking up in the morning and sort of that ache of needing a cigarette and a cup of coffee. I liked, I liked that. I liked that it gave some focus to the to the morning. Um, my myself now thinks that that sounds depraved and a little bit uh, off kilter. But at the time, you know, I, I mean, uh, we all we all have our things, right? And uh, in my late teens, early twenties, uh, that physical urge for a cigarette and a cup of coffee in the morning overcame anxiety and panic. <laughs> That's what got me out of bed in the morning. And I still smoke a cigarette every once in a while. I roll drum tobacco. Um, it's very different from smoking a pipe. Um, smoking a pipe teaches limits um, in two ways. If you can over smoke a pipe while you put pipe while you're you know while you're smoking it, you can like I would do if I was drinking and getting a little bit drunk, I would over smoke the pipe. I'd smoke too hard and it would burn my tongue in a way that cigarette smoke doesn't. The by design cigarette smoke just goes in and then out. Over smoke a pipe and you can end up with tongue tongue burn and, and um sore gums. So in the immediate moment you can over smoke a pipe. Smoke it too hard, literally inhaling too much, too frequently, too hard. So there's a technique of inhaling just enough to get the full fl flavor and pleasure of the pipe and, um, and not too much to, to blow it. So you have to really be paying attention, which isn't the same as mindfulness in this case, I don't think. This may be a distinction that many of you are listening to and disagree with. And please, if you do, uh, tell me why smoking a pipe is really a meditative practice. I suppose it, it should be, right? If my practice is to apply mindfulness to everything, why not apply it to a pipe? But this idea of reverie is so appealing to me. 
in this particular instance to really allow the mind to evaporate into um, disparate thinking. The other limit that a pipe teaches is just um, not to smoke more than one or maybe two. Uh, but here's the lesson it teaches. One of them with a little whiskey or with a cup of tea is so good that um, I want a second and a, th and a third. Uh, and what this teaches you is that the second pipe will not be as good as the first one. It might still be good enough to do, but the third one won't be, that for me at least. And I may still do it, but I will know that I'm... Um, not enjoying it. I won't, I won't feel it the next day in a way that I won't if I just have the one, but there's a real moment when I finished the first pipe, I've drunk the splash of whiskey that I allow myself every once in a while now, or the tea that I mostly drink it with. And I can feel this well, well, welling up within me that says, have another, have another pipe, have another whiskey, have another cup of tea. Um, and I won't do it. I'll put it down. Uh, exercising willpower is the, one of the messages of the pipe. So I thought I would uh, share that, and I, uh, uh, if you've made it this far, thank you. Twelve minutes. That's a little on the long side for what's really just a brief reverie on, on its own. Um, so again, let me know if you have any questions or thoughts. Uh, I'm going to tag this to the YouTube Pipe community, which is a great resource, great set of videos and community. Um, so if any of you from YTPC made it this far, just give, you know, give me a thumbs up, let me know. Um, I might I might take my Saturday afternoon pipes and do a shorter live stream um, out there on the porch with my dogs and my pipe. I have a bunch of tobaccos sitting over here. I got a sample pack of English blends from Boswell's and I'm dying to smoke them. Um, but because I typically only smoke the one, and I know that this this stuff, this Presbyterian stuff, oh man, it's just it's just everything a pipe tobacco should be. Yeah. So keep your wits about you, my friends, and I will talk to you again soon.